about to boil the gluten-free noodles for the first time. Haven't made it yet. I'm excited to see how it's gonna turn out. It's still kind of wet. They've been in the bag like all this time. When I say the bag, I'm talking about this bag. They've been in the bag all this time, right? And they are still, and the bag has been open, mind you. And it's still kind of damp. And I don't know if I'm like getting too many, but I think I'll stop right there and put some oil in there and stir it. I'll let you know how they turn out. So I'm thinking that they might be done. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm gonna pull them out. But I'm gonna try one first, actually. Hopefully you can see me. Mm, it's a little al dente, but I think I'm gonna take them off because I don't want to like crumble. So I'm gonna cut them off now. All right, so this is what the noodles are looking like straight out of the pot. Expected them to be more orange. That's neither here nor there. I've had it before, I don't remember what it tastes like. I don't know how flavorful it'll be. It's looking like it's gonna hold up, so it's not gonna like crumble apart, you know. Um, if it hasn't crumbled by now, it's not going to. So we we'll just have to see what the flavor is like. But I think most of the flavor really depends on the sauce. So I've tasted it and it's only slightly gummy. It's really thick, but overall, for this to be a gluten-free pasta, and for it to be homemade, it's pretty good. And so I'll eat it again, of course. I don't think I would make any changes to the recipe because I wouldn't know what to do to make it better. It's 46 degrees outside. I had no idea it was 46 degrees. I knew it was cold. I thought it was like 60 something. So that, that shows you how well I can gauge temperatures. But it's Sunday morning and we are headed to church. We're doing good too. We're just a little bit late, but that's okay. We're pressing our way towards the mark of the whatever the rest of that scripture is. And yeah. I'm excited because I got my family with me today. All right, so we just got out of church and we're in the store, Publix, our favorite grocery store, eating some, um, buying some groceries. So I came in here to get sushi, but there is, I'm hungry. Why you put that bag at you? You got to go for it. <laughs> you just got out of church. All right, so the, hey, hey, you're being so helpful right now. So helpful, aren't you? Anyway, so right now we are, or they, Rob, Jesus. So right now, Isaac and Rhonda are um, prepping the area so that they can put up some bike racks. It's actually a part of the shed project. I'm about to hit the road soon because we're going to see. What? You're messing up my. Sh no, I'm not. <sighs> I'm done. Bye, y'all. So we're ready to build a home here, y'all. to pack my stuff and I come back and look at this. They've got all three of the bikes on the on the racks and they have all three of the racks on the wall. All right y'all go team go Don't team Lisa. okay you're ignoring me <sighs> it's past dinner time I am making stuffed bell peppers and um I'll let you know how they turn out. I follow the Pinterest recipe so you guys should be proud of me. So this particular recipe is using instant brown rice. I'm not using instant rice. So I know that I need to cook it a little bit longer. So I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna um, increase the cooking time. And it should be fine. Lisa, Lisa it did it itself. So, let's that. see what it's looking like. Oh, I'm getting burned. Cause I opened this. Okay. I need to see if this rice is fluffy. I think it's done. Oh, it's split. All right, so this is what it's looking like. Yeah, um, obviously that cooked too long. So I have to adjust the cooking time the next time I do it. But the rice is soft. I already shredded some cheese right here. So now the challenge is just to get this out because look at what happened up in here. That's not what's up. So I need to take the trivet out and put it on the plate or something so that this doesn't happen so to the rest of the seven. bell peppers that's so in the Instapot. Don't say nothing. I want a perfectly intact, uh, what they call Stuffed uh, bell peppers. Stuffed bell pepper. I don't want it cracked. I don't want it. I'll take the one that fell apart because I don't want mine to look bell pepper. 
He gonna try to not eat the bell pepper. That's what that is. I'm just messing with your niece. So this is the prettiest one. All the rest of them fell apart, as you can see. This one is the one that's most intact. All right, so you made it to the end of the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. If you, oh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have a quick announcement. So you know next month is December, which means Vlogmas 2019 is about to start. So I can get them on there. So anyway, look at <gasps> Mommy! Didn't I just hand that to you? No. Well, it's on camera, so I'll know who did what. <laughs> We've been choking out for the third night in a row. <laughs> they survived! So here's the garland. I don't think you can see. Okay, I knew that was a wreath. I'm just gonna sit the brief on top of the box. Okay, you know that that's the box. Oh, you put it, you put it around the back. <laughs> you put exactly. it. Exactly. is that you? Didn't I just hand that to him? I don't know, we gotta review the tape. Just, just so I can get them on there now. Just, just so I can get them on there now. Just, just so I can get them on there. So anyway, look at you did not just hand that to me. Starting on December 1st, and I'll be vlogging from December 1st until the 24th or the 25th. I'm not sure if I vlog Christmas Day, but if I do, of course it will come out the day after Christmas, more than likely. So um, just stay tuned and make sure you subscribe so that you can know when I have a new video release. I have um Yeah. So with all of that being said, thank you so much for watching. If you could like, comment, and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Love you, have a good one, and I will see you in the next video. Ah, oh, just dropped it in my hand. No. Yeah, we need somewhere to store the bikes. You little monster. Ha 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 ha. His distraction work. So, let me try this one more time. Tell me. Look, look me in my eyes. Look me in my eyes. Tell me what's wrong with you. Huh? Tell me.